Well, today I decided I was going to do something a little bit off the track, but back to my original roots. I had been watching some videos by a woman that goes by, I think it's Share the Fire, and it's Share, C-H-E-R, like Sunny and Cher, for those of you who are old enough to remember that. Anyway, um, uh, she did she did this um, video on different blending techniques for regular uh, colored pencils. I'm not good with regular colored pencils. I think they come out looking really, um, I'm going to hold this up so you can see what I'm talking about. I think they come out, do you see in this section right here where you can really see, it's kind of grainy looking in this one, you can see in this section, it doesn't look like it's blended and um, some of these other ones you can see that are blended. Well, that's the difference between using her technique and not using one of her techniques. And here is the secret to it, and I've never seen anyone else do this, but this is it right here, Vaseline. What you do is you stick your tip of your pencil. Keep in mind, this Vaseline is not going to be used for anything but art. So when you look in there and go, oh my gosh, there's all kinds of colored pencil stuff in there. Don't worry, I'm not going to be using it on anything else. But it works great for this technique. What you do is you stick your pencil tip into it, and I'm going to show you that in a second. But I wanted to tell you about some of the other techniques that she had as well, because she had some really good ones. And ones that... I frankly had never seen or heard anybody ever talk about or do before. So one of the techniques that she talked about was using gel pens as an, an idea for blending. I thought that was a really great idea. I haven't done it yet because I figured I would show you kind of what I was doing with the other pencil. I haven't done the center of this. I thought we'd do that together as well. And I thought I would use some um, colors that are more in the browns into the center and it, what you do is you stick your tip in there you're going to have a napkin close by because your your tip of your pencil you're going to go in little small circles but that Vaseline is going to kind of melt the pencil lead a little bit and it makes it go from being uh, I'm gonna call it streaky to being more of a consistent looking color. It almost changes it to looking like crayon. Now the the pencils I have, I have a very large set of Prismacolor, Prismacolor Premiers. I really like them. I did try this technique with a very inexpensive set of uh, regular colored pencils and I could not get the, the pencil, they were new, I could not even get the pencil tip to accept the the Vaseline let alone do anything with it so it didn't go well at all and um, so I'm not sure if other I did I have one other brand I'm going to show you that one as well it's a metallic pencil and um, I, I really thought this was a cool looking technique and I wanted you guys to see it because I thought you know I don't know if, about the rest of you when you color these and I've always called these mandalas, but she is a designer, Cher, is a, is a mandala designer. She has books of them, and so I felt really dumb that I always call it the wrong thing, and I apologize that I have. So then after you're done using that color, and by the way, this is color P, wait, this is uh, yeah, PC1074 French Gray. I want to make sure I showed you. You want to really wipe off your tip. I don't know if you saw me doing that, but you want to really wipe off your tip and make sure your tip is clean before you go on to a different color. This is my storage system for my colored pencils. I like it because I can just dig around in there, but when you're on video, obviously, it's not the best system. This one is called Argyle Rose, I think. I'm going to try it out. Anyway, um, when I when I tried it with the other set of pencils I had, it, it worked well in the metallic, but not in the inexpensive ones. The inexpensive ones I had were from a set. I got one of those boxes at Christmas that has like 115 pieces of art in them. I really bought it because I wanted the metal case that everything came in. I didn't really care about the supplies in them, and it was it was not very expensive. It was under twenty dollars, and if you price those metal cases for art supplies, they're a lot more than twenty dollars. So I didn't think it was a bad price. You see how that makes it look like a crayon? I think it's really cool, and I I um, so far 
have really enjoyed it and thought that you would too. This one is um, PC1080 and it is Sienna Beige or Beige Sienna. But the thing I found is, and I'm doing it, I'm not pressing hard. I mean, it probably looks like I'm pressing hard because I'm getting so much pigment out of that, but I'm not pressing hard. So I think that's cool too because you would think that um, in order to get the Vaseline to do something, you saw me wipe, wipe that off, right? Just want to make sure you saw that because I'm starting to forget whether I'm doing it or not. This color is um, PC1069 and it's French gray. I just think I just thought it looked so much better. I I just did not like the results I got from colored pencils until I until I use this Vaseline technique. And you need to reload it if you're doing a, a pretty decent section like this one. You'll need to put a little bit more Vaseline on, or if you do a lot at the beginning, then you won't need to. But and here's what I would recommend. That of course, you know me. I always have to learn it the hard way. Uh, here's what I would recommend you doing. If you're going to do this, I would go from middle out because uh, I found that I was smearing things around a lot. This last color is Beige Sienna. Oh, I'll give you the number. PC1080. What she said with gel pens was, let's say that you wanted to highlight an area. You could kind of do it like you would normally do uh, um, around like let's say I would normally go around the outer lining with a with a different color she said do it with a gel pen and I thought that's kind of a cool the Vaseline is acting as a resist and so you can't do those two techniques together so I'm gonna wipe that off of those oh it did stick on that one it didn't on these two though uh, let me see let's do it in that one that in one of these ones that I know I did not use uh, my gel pens are from Glaze, Secura, they're well, no, they're from Secura, Secura, is that the name? I hate it when I don't know how to say something, I always feel stupid. Uh, you know, this is, uh, this is not, uh, and obviously this is just for fun, but I know a lot of you that do these uh, mandalas have bought the gel pen sets to color with, so this is another way to use them because you probably have colored pencils too. So now you can outline your your images with some gel pen and with you know and play with your colored pencils in a little bit of a different way. And probably if I didn't have that teeny tiny bottle of Vaseline, I probably would have just taken a spoon and taken a spoonful out of a bigger bottle and put it in a baggie and just you know kept the spoon in the baggie plastic spoon obviously um, put the spoon in the baggie together and, and just keep my spoon full of Vaseline and then if I need to get more get another plastic spoon out and just kind of go with it but I, I wanted to show you these things because I thought they were fun and interesting and a new take on on something that we're all playing with now I think this um, trend is not going to stop because it's so soothing and people really enjoy doing coloring and I think it's lots of fun. I'm a big fan. As you know, if you watch my videos, you'd know that I started out doing um, coloring before I started watching YouTube channel videos and then, then that got me into watching YouTube videos and that turned me into card making which turned me into not being able to find anything on the internet that helps me with with doing things the way I would be able to do them and so I just thought this is just one of those uh, another one of those things that I thought that everybody else needed to know about all right well I'm gonna throw a throw in the towel on this oh let me tell you about this outer edge um, the Vaseline does smear around. I did, when I was doing this, I did rub mine in. I would take, and I'm going to show you the inner part where I just did it. I would take the the um, napkin and see how much of this ink you, or, um, pencil you get up from doing that. And I did get a lot off of there when I did it. But also my hand um, made a lot of this yuck on the outside and I I don't do anything with my my colored projects I just leave them in the book that they're in and this book in case you're interested in finding it is beautiful Mandela's Mandela's yeah volume one 
Elena Bogdanovich is who made this one. And there are a lot, the thing I like about this one is there are a lot of bigger images. And I like, I like to color bigger. Go big or go home. You know what I'm saying? I like a bigger image. I don't like to color little, 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 little like this one. I don't like to do that kind of stuff. Well, actually, I probably wouldn't mind it because it's actually one big spiral. But um, I don't like doing those teeny tiny ones. I like the bigger images because I think you can play more in them. And I also think they're fun. I'm going to do something else with it that I forgot to mention that I wanted to do. I bought these markers. They're They're like a paint marker. And I'm going to use a black Sharpie for the other one. I have a black one, too. But um, I have these. They're by Posca, Uni Posca. And this one's white. And you have to shake it like this first before you use it. And the white one, I have had a lot of trouble with this. It really comes out fast sometimes. When you play with this, it comes out really fast sometimes. So you don't want to push down on the tip. But it's a, it's like a liquid it's um, like a liquid marker. It's very wet and um, it does a really nice job with white because white is one of those colors you just can't seem to get a good you can't get a good stamped image. It's just a hard color. I bought two of them at Amazon and they came like two for seven dollars which I didn't think was bad for something like this and uh, it's lots of fun to play with. It's one of those fun things to play with kind of thing. Let me just go around this one with the black Now, I'm not the world's best at this. I'm just showing you how I would do it if it was me. And um, so that's why I'm showing you what uh, what I'm doing with my little my little project. And the thing I like best about it is nobody ever sees this. Well, you're seeing it right now. But nobody ever sees these things. I'm just doing it for myself to play with. And I like to do projects like that that are just for me that I'm, you know, just playing with. For those of you who have been wondering about when am I going to get that jelly plate going, I'm really close <laughs> to pulling it out. I have everything I need. It's just a matter of the guts to do it. So there you have it. There is my different techniques on blending and uh, how to play with your mandala in a different way. And I hope you liked it. Hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.